Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I have a new video for you showcasing the Flavors of the Month kit from the Scrap Room for March. This one is featuring the Bella Boulevard Island Escape page kit. Now, as you know with these kits, you get four different page kits. So, this month you get to play with some American Crafts, you get to play with Echo Park, you get to play with Bella Boulevard, and you get to play with Photo Play. So, wide variety to play with. Some of them you will absolutely love. Some of them you might not love so much just depends on your personality and your take on scrapbooking but the good news is you get to play with them and find out which ones you do like and then you can grab more of it if you want more of it now you can see it almost looks like my layout is almost done here it really isn't I cut out all those flowers ahead of time but I made the mistake in the first video which has now been deleted uh, of putting taking everything off and trying to start again and I couldn't remember where anything went so what I did is I laid it all out and I'm just going to show you how I'm adhering things so I'm using a combination of both flat flat adhesive in my easy runner grand and 3d foam squares to pop up some of them in this case where you're creating some movement and getting those pretty flowers making a diagonal down the page you don't necessarily want them to all have dimension uh, it takes away from the beauty of it if you have too much dimension, but I also think it takes away from it if you have too little dimension. So really you want to find a good balance. And what I do and what you saw me do there is I laid it all out and then as I'm going I kind of say okay yep right there I need some dimension. Okay nope calm down again. Um, and you just have a chance to decide if you need more less or whatever by laying it out ahead of time. Now, I don't always lay things out ahead of time when I'm doing layouts, but in a case like this where I'm working with a lot of little pieces, I definitely do. Something that is fun and cool about this layout is that I almost exclusively used one patterned paper in it. All those flowers, as well as that navy blue stripe that you see up top, all come from one patterned paper. And I don't really, that was not intentional. It just kind of happened that way that <laughs> I, I didn't use a ton of the patterned papers. I ended up using just a teensy bit of another one from the kit. You can see, however, that I did use the cardstock that came with the kit, and it is just a beautiful shade of green. Um, it is not a green that I would have probably picked up on a shelf on my own, which again is the beauty of these kits, but it coordinates so nicely with the bright colors in this kit. It, it, it Seriously, it's like a perfect fit, and I really love how this layout turned out, and I think a big part of that is because of that green cardstock in there. Now, you can see I'm getting it all to come together here, piece by piece, adding one by one. It's a time-consuming process when you're working with a lot of little pieces, uh, but in the end, I think it's really worth it. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, all that fussy cutting. It did definitely take a chunk of time to do that, uh, but if you're armed with good scissors, that definitely speeds things up a little bit. Now, here you can see I am just Pull, cutting out a little bit more and what I'm doing is I actually am cutting a scalped border to go along the bottom. Bella Boulevard always used to have these in their collections and to be honest I'm not sure if they do anymore but it, it's just a cute accent I think and so instead of using a sticker from the collection I am just using that same navy blue paper and cutting out a scallop, just eyeballing it and lining the bottom with it. Then I'm also going to line the top with this border that came on. This is one of the other patterned papers, um, and it's just that navy blue and white. And then I'm going to do a little outlining to make those colors and everything pop a little more and break things up a little bit. Now, do remember that the Scrap Room Kit Club has a non-commitment policy, so you can join for a month, you can join for six. I have a feeling if you try it for a month, you're probably going to want to continue. Um, we also get that fun coffee sample every month that I like to sip while I'm working on my first project of the month. And we have a Facebook group. We have lots of places where you can get inspiration on how to use your kit. So be sure to check that out over on the website, as well as the other kits that they offer that include the embellishment kit, they include a double shot kit, lots of different options for you to check out. Now, as I'm wrapping things up, you see the title there. I have love. I am going to add on we and 
we love vacation. So love, I used a metal die to cut out just out of white cardstock. And then I'm gonna use some yellow uh, cardstock letter stickers from Jelly Bean Soup to finish off the title. I'm just gonna say, we love vacation. You can see that at the end with the picture of this. Um, but, you know, overall really kind of a simple layout. There's not a lot to it besides patterned paper. And that's a little bit of a unique thing for me, but at the same time, it doesn't look simple. And that is pretty fun when you can do that with patterned paper and really make things look a little more complicated than they actually are. So thank you so much for being here today. Be sure to keep an eye out on the Scrap Room channel for more videos with this month's kit, and we'll see you again soon.